Okay, welcome back AutoCAD students. Uh, this is Chris Dennis and today we're going to talk about drawing lines. Um, I'm thinking this would be part two in a segment of tutorials that um, I'm working on. Alrighty, so what's going to happen here is I've just opened AutoCAD um, and AutoCAD has brought me to um, the default drawing. Uh, it automatically opens a template file called ACAD and um, it gives it a name called Drawing 1. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do um, just to get right into drawing lines is I'm going to actually do a zoom all and that's up here on your toolbar. I'll click zoom all and what zoom all does is brings us to the um, default limits of this AutoCAD drawing which is approximately 9 by 15 inches so that way we're all working in the same size space okay and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the grid alright I'd also like you to notice that I don't have anything on on the status bar all my uh, status bar buttons are gray so that means they're all off and that gives my cursor um, a lot of freedom of, of movement. Alright so let's get right into it. Alright so let's start with the line command up here on the ribbon. So I'm gonna click the line command and if you'll notice the command line uh, actually comes up with the command and asks me to specify first point so I'm going to pick with the mouse and again anytime I say pick that would be left mouse um, and you'll notice after I draw a line segment um, it immediately kind of rubber bands into being ready for the next segment um, so I'm going to continue that and as I'm drawing lines I'm just picking and moving the mouse. I'm not dragging the mouse. Um, when you draw lines it's more like stitching fabric than it is um, dragging a pencil across paper. So kind of keep that in mind. Alright, um, now that I've drawn a few lines I'd like to end the line command. Uh, so to execute and finish this command set we just have to do an enter um, which is also the same as a right click so I'm going to right click with the mouse and you'll notice the command line is now blank again and we're done with that command alright so I'm going to undo that because what I'd like to try now is drawing lines as separate segments instead of all connected together like that last exercise I just did. So I'm going to come up again to the line command and I'm going to pick and pick and then I want to end this so I'm going to right click and there I've drawn one line segment. I'm going to come back up to the line command again and I'm going to pick and pick and right click. Let's do that one more time. Line command, pick, pick, right click. Now you may be asking yourself, gee, do I need to keep going back up to the line command every time I want to draw a line? And that's a good question because no you don't have to keep going back up to the line command what you can do is when you've ended any command at all um, you'll notice that the command line down here is now blank alright so with your cursor in the drawing area you can just do a right click which means enter or you can do an enter on the keyboard either way it will repeat the previous command so notice now that I've done that right click I have the previous command comes up which is line and I'm ready to start drawing another segment okay so I'm gonna right click to end that segment 
I'm going to do another right click to repeat the line command. Pick, pick, right click ends the command, right click repeats the command. Click, click, right click, right click. Okay, so give that a try and um, especially with separate segments, don't worry about if your lines are straight or crooked. Uh, I think it's a good practice with to get used to the mouse as far as using the pick keys and the right click keys. It will actually uh, make you more efficient as you're drawing lines in AutoCAD.